Now in this lesson, we're going to focus on using reference angles to evaluate trigonometric functions. So what is the exact value of sine of 300 degrees? So first, let's plot 300. 300 is in quadrant 4. If you recall, this is 0 degrees, 90, 180, 270. And 0 is the same as 360. So 300 is close to 270. So this angle here is 300 degrees. Now let's turn this into a right triangle. The reference angle is the angle between the terminal side and the x-axis. So you can see that it has to be the difference between 360 and 300. So the reference angle is 60. Now, you need to know your special right triangles. You need to be familiar with the 30, 60, 90 triangle. Across the 30 is 1, across the 60 is root 3, across the 90 is 2. So across 60, it's going to be root 3. But y is negative in quadrant 4. Across the 30 is 1. x is positive in quadrant 4. And across the 90, which is the hypotenuse, that's going to be 2. And we're always going to make the hypotenuse positive. So now we could find the value of sine of 300 using that right triangle. So 300 is associated with 60. So let's use the fact that sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So therefore, sine 300 is going to be negative square root 3 divided by 2 using Sokotoa. And so that's how you can evaluate any function at any angle using uh, special right triangles and reference angles. Let's evaluate cosine of 120 degrees. So first, let's plot it. 120 is located in quadrant 2. So that's an angle of 120. And we know the negative x-axis is 180. Therefore, the difference between those two will give us a reference angle of 60. So once again, we have the 30, 60, 90 triangle. So across the 30 is 1. Across the 60 is root 3. The hypotenuse is 2. Now, in quadrant 2, x is negative, y is positive. So now we're going to focus on the 60 degree angle, which came from the 120. Cosine, we know it's adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. So cosine 120, it's going to be negative because it's in quadrant 2. It's equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse, so cosine 120 is negative 1 half. Let's evaluate tangent of 7 pi divided by 6. Now, 7 pi over 6 is in quadrant 3. If you recall, this is 1 pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, and then 11 pi over 6. Seven pi over six forms a reference angle that's pi over six, and pi is one eighty. One eighty divided by six is thirty, so we got a reference angle of thirty. So once again, we have the thirty sixty ninety triangle. Across the thirty is one. Across the sixty is square root three. Across the ninety is two. Now, in quadrant three, both x and y are negative. So now we could evaluate tangent 7 pi over 6. Tangent is equal to the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. So it's negative 1 divided by negative square root 3, which is 1 over square root 3, and then we're going to have to rationalize it. So tangent 7 pi over 6 is square root 3 divided by 3. And so that's the answer. Try this one. Find the value of sine of negative 135 degrees. Feel free to pause the video and work on this. Negative 135 
is located in quadrant 3. Now this is negative 180, that's a, a straight angle. So therefore, the reference angle is 45. So what we have is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Across the 45 angles is 1, across the 90 is the square root of 2. So hopefully you remember the 45, 45, 90 uh, reference triangle. Now in quadrants 3, we know that x and y are both negative. So now we could evaluate sine of negative 135. Sine, focusing on this angle, is equal to the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. So it's negative 1 over square root 2. And if we rationalize it, it's going to be equal to negative square root 2 divided by 2. And so that's the answer for this problem. Try this one. What is the value of secant? of 330. So in order to evaluate secant, we need to find the value of cosine of 330. 330 is located in quadrant 4. So that's an angle of 330. So therefore, the reference angle must be 30. It's 360, which is a full cycle, minus 330. So we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Across the 30 is 1, across the 60 is square root 3, across the 90 is 2. Now in quadrant 4, x is positive, y is negative. So now we could evaluate cosine of 330. Cosine is equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. In quadrant 4, cosine is positive. So cosine is going to be adjacent, square root 3, over hypotenuse, which is 2. And if we flip it, 1 divided by square root 3 over 2 is 2 over square root 3. Next, we need to rationalize it. So therefore, secant of 330 is 2 square root 3 divided by 3. Here's another one that you could try. Tangent 11 pi divided by 4. So let's plot it. Now this is 1 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, 9 pi over 4, 11 pi over 4 is in the same location as 3 pi over 4. Those two are coterminal angles. Now if you recall, to find the coterminal angle you need to add or subtract by 360 or 2 pi. So 11 pi over 4 is more than 360. It's greater than 2 pi. So we got to subtract by 2 pi, which is the same as 8 pi over 4. And this will give us 3 pi over 4, which is in quadrant 2. So let's draw the triangle in quadrant 2. The reference angle is going to be pi over 4, which is 45. So we have the 45, 45, 90 triangle again. So this is going to be 1, 1, square root 2. And in quadrant 2, x is negative, but y is positive. So to find tangent 11 pi over 4, which is the same as tangent 3 pi over 4, it's going to be equal to the opposite side relative to this angle divided by the adjacent side. So it's 1 over negative 1. So the whole thing is negative 1. And recall, tangent is negative in quadrants 2 and 4. Let's work on this example. Cosecant of negative 4 pi divided by 3. So go ahead and try that one. Cosecant is 1 over sine. And let's plot sine of, or just negative 4 pi over 3. This is negative 1 pi over 3, negative 2 pi over 3. Negative 3 pi over 3 is the same as negative pi. So here's negative 4 pi over 3. Negative 4 pi over 3 is coterminal with positive 2 pi over 3, which is here. If you add negative 4 pi over 3 plus 2 pi, which is like negative 4 pi over 3 plus 6 pi over 3, 
that gives you positive 2 pi over 3, which is in quadrant 2. So the reference angle is pi over 3, and pi over 3 is 60. So we have the 30, 60, 90 triangle again. Across the 30 is 1, across the 60 is the square root of 3, and across the 90 is 2. In quadrant 2, x is negative, y is positive. So now, let's evaluate sine relative to that angle. So sine is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. So that's the square root of 3 divided by 2. And so cosecant is going to be 2 over square root 3. And now we got to rationalize it. So cosecant, negative 4 pi over 3, is 2 square root 3 over 3. Cosecant and sine are both positive in quadrant 